Only on four, there is relief tonight for a Northern Virginia family whose loved one was killed by a hit and run driver right in front of his Lorton home. Joey Lanza was killed in the car crash more than four years ago. His family feared the driver would walk free, but as Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey reports, the judge instead handed down the maximum sentence. Joey Lanza's friends and family filling several rows of the courtroom, hoping their presence would convey the magnitude of their loss. The daily pain felt ever since a 28-year-old was killed in late February of 2020. It's just been so hard, and it's just been killing us a little each day. It never leaves. It never leaves. It's something you deal with every day. Friends say Lanza was concerned about cars often speeding down Old Colchester Road in front of his home. A witness says he was struck as he ran to the road to try to slow a car driven by Guillermo Vasquez. The force of the crash shattering the windshield on Vasquez's Honda Prelude. Prosecutors say Vasquez kicked it out and kept going, turning himself into police two days later after this picture was made public. Today in court, Vasquez turned to speak directly to Lanza's family, tearfully telling them, I wish it could be me instead of him. You're not going to believe me. I'm not that bad. Vasquez pleaded guilty, but in the years since the crash, court records show he's continued to rack up traffic offenses. During their victim impact statements, Lanza's family pointing to their tremendous loss and that driving record, urging the judge to impose the maximum sentence. I appreciate the fact that the judge paid particular attention to his record before and after. I think that was the key. His, his driving behavior was the same. He didn't learn. You know, he doesn't take law enforcement seriously. And I think he will now. The judge did what she had to do. She gave Vasquez the maximum, a 10-year sentence, eight years behind bars, two years on active probation. The judge's sentence bringing emotional outbursts on both sides. There were gasps and tears of relief for some of Joey Lanza's family members. On the other side of the courtroom aisle, the defendant's teenage children began sobbing loudly. And as he was handcuffed, he turned to them saying over and over again, I love you. Joey Lanza's family leaving court with the hope that the judge's sentence sends a powerful message that reaches everyone about driving safety. I think the judge made a stand for the community, and she didn't want anyone who would continue uh, to possibly put other people's lives in danger on the road to still be out there. In Fairfax County, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. Court testimony today revealed that Guillermo Vasquez gave that car from the hit and run to his teenage son who has been repairing it.